мы в осаде находимся. Это говорит Денис Малыхин, это с своей страницы. At roughly 1 p.m. on March 13th, in the Ukrainian city of Mariupol, resident Denis Malikhin records video of Russian forces striking apartment buildings throughout the residential area around him. About an hour later, less than a mile down the street, another resident, Timur Rudov, films the same attack on the neighborhood as he and others take cover. Between these two locations, a photo posted the day before shows remnants of what military experts say is a cluster bomb, a weapon that can cause indiscriminate civilian harm. They're all fragments of evidence that have prompted U.S. officials to accuse Russia of committing war crimes. The Wall Street Journal verified videos and photos posted to social media, analyzed satellite images from Maxar Technologies, and spoke with military strategists and residents of the city to reveal a series of Russian military strikes on civilian locations, Mariupol is a southern port city that had a population of around 450,000 before the war. It's strategically important, linking Russian-controlled parts of eastern Ukraine with a swath of territory the Kremlin has captured in the south. The Zhovnevi district in the western part of the city is one of the areas most decimated by Russian attacks. The journal pieced together satellite imagery analysis from the United Nations and our own data to show the extent of visible damage. Footage shot by Timur Rudov about a year before the invasion indicates that this is a civilian district. We can see a shopping center, apartment complexes, a public square, a maternity hospital, and a theater. In the four weeks since the invasion of Mariupol began, all of these places have been obliterated. Targeting civilians is a playbook the U.S. government says Russia has used in Chechnya and Syria. The International Criminal Court's definition of war crimes broadly include willfully killing, causing suffering, or deliberately targeting civilians. The Russian embassy in Washington, D.C. didn't respond to requests for comment. The Kremlin has said that it is not targeting civilians. Now we see civilian locations being attacked in Mariupol. Russia has denied using cluster bombs in Ukraine. More than 100 countries have joined a treaty that bans such weapons, though neither Ukraine nor Russia is a signatory. These types of munitions release many submunitions, or small bombs, as they fly, which can cause widespread civilian harm in tightly populated areas. On March 1st, Mariupol City Council posted photos of missile debris in a residential neighborhood. In other photos of the same debris, munitions experts said this Tachka ballistic missile is a cluster bomb. The nose cone and tailpiece of the missile are intact and didn't leave large impact craters, indicating they separated before impact to release a warhead containing smaller bombs. The city council shared another photo of a Russian submunition steps away from the missile debris, further evidence that this was a cluster bomb, according to munitions experts. Attacks on civilian locations in Mariupol began with Russian forces hitting civilian infrastructure. They struck electricity plants and took out cell towers. In early March, we can see multiple attacks on Mariupol's food supplies. Video posted March 3rd shows a smoldering home improvement store. Smoke billows from Silpo, a major grocery store across the road. Satellite imagery days later reveals the entire shopping center in ruins. About a mile away, videos posted to social media on March 5th show the city's largest mall, Port City, home to a grocery store, cafes, and a movie theater, was also hit. A satellite image from around the same time shows the entire mall has been flattened. A video posted later shows the damage inside. After targeting basic infrastructure, Russian forces hit houses and apartment buildings, leveling large swaths of residential neighborhoods. About halfway between the two burned shopping centers, we see a wide view of damaged four- and eight-story apartment buildings in a satellite image from March 12th. In a photo posted to social media the same day, munitions experts say we can see the remains of a second banned cluster bomb in a public square nearby. Experts say the intact tailpiece indicates this is the same kind of missile confirmed in other cluster bombings in Ukraine. Around it are a pharmacy, restaurants, and shops. The next day, Timur Rudov and his neighbors take cover as the apartment buildings around them are hit. Yeah. 
Да не делать сюда. Вот сюда с этой стороны не делать. Other videos posted to social media that same week show widespread bombing of homes in the area. On March 19th, Timmer assesses the destruction of a neighbor's apartment. As Russian forces struck residences, they also began bombing places like hospitals and shelters, where residents, including children, had gone to seek refuge. Here, footage shows the aftermath of the March 9th bombing of a maternity hospital, which killed three people and injured 17. We can see this crater, which explosives experts say is indicative of an airdropped bomb, weighing at least a thousand pounds. This woman and her baby died days after being rescued according to the Associated Press. Nearby the hospital, local Mikhail Poroshev, who regularly evacuates residents from a bomb shelter there, was filming the hospital attack when his location came under fire from the air. Outside, a school across the street and an office building and cafe behind him are destroyed. Less than a mile away from the hospital, on March 14th, a satellite image reveals the word children written in Russian on the ground outside of a theater, signaling civilians to anyone flying overhead. There were more than a thousand people hiding inside. The Azov Battalion, a far-right paramilitary group that was absorbed into the Ukrainian National Guard, posted a video to Telegram showing people had taken shelter there. Then, on March 16th, this video shows the aftermath of the Russian bombing at the same theater. Satellite imagery taken afterward shows vast destruction. Municipal authorities later said more than 300 people died in this attack. Local officials estimate over 5,000 civilians have been killed. On March 28th, the city's mayor called for a complete evacuation as the attacks continued. <laughs> 